All right, for this first problem, this angle here is 36. The angle that's opposite over here, this angle here, that's basically, see how these two, the yellow line and the green line make an X? These two angles are vertical. This angle, the, the yellow angle and the blue and the green angle are vertical. Meaning that this angle, which is 36, means this angle is also going to be 36. So X is going to equal 36 for the first problem. And that's really all you have to do for the first problem. In this next problem, we have Y and we have 121. So for this problem, what you need to do is look at the two angles. The two angles here, we have um, Y, which is here. And the second angle is this angle over here, which starts here and goes all the way down and goes to here. Now, when you add these two angles up together, the green, they make this straight line. And we know that straight lines equal 180. So we know that the answer is going to be 180 and that the two angles are going to add up to 180 because the Y plus 121 is going to add up to 180. So if you subtract 121 from both sides, you're going to have Y equals, let's see, 9, 59. And then when you check your answer, 121 plus 59, it does equal 180, so we're correct. So Y is going to equal 59. And that's how you solve those problems. The next one is this one here, where and they all come to this point right here. There's this point in the middle. And whenever angles come to a point and they make a point like this, all the way around is going to be 360. Whenever like two or three, whenever these angles come to a point like this, and there's like a, you can make a circle around it, the answer is going to add up to be 360, which basically means that there's the angle of 82 degrees plus the angle of 172 degrees plus the angle of Z, and all of them are going to equal 360. So when you add 82 and 172 together, um, the answer is 254. And then when you subtract 254 from both sides, that should give you the answer. So we have a 6, 0, and 1. So Z is going to equal 106. And then they said, what facts about angles did you use? In the first problem up here, we decided that these two angles, the green and the yellow angle and the blue angle were vertical angles. So for the first one, for number for letter A, we used vertical angles to solve it. So you could write vertical angles for letter A. For letter B, if we go back up here and we look, these two angles made a straight line, and when two lines make a straight when two angles make a straight line, they are called supplementary. And we know that supplementary angles Supplementary angles equal 180 degrees. The last problem, letter C, we had these three angles that come to a point. And so angles that end in a point add to 360 degrees. And that's how you, that's the answer to what facts that we use. In this next problem here, they're giving you um, some angles. So let's look. The first line that they're talking about is line A, O, C. And then there's a line of uh, C, O, B. So this angle here is C, O, B. There's these two angles. It says if two angles, A, O, C is the first angle, and the second angle, C, O, B is the second angle. The common side is this angle, right? Is this uh, line right here, C, O. So these two angles, there's an angle here, and there's an angle here. They're right next to each other, and when they are right next to each other, that is known as adjacent. The sum of the angles on a straight line is 180. And two such angles are called a linear pair. 
Two angles are called supplementary if their sum of their measures is, and we already said, uh, supplementary angles add up to 180. Two angles that are called compl complementary if the sum of their measures add up to 90. So uh, example of that, if you had two lines, if you had a line, an angle like this and you had two angles coming off of it, this would be complementary because this angle plus this angle equal 90. Describing angles as supplementary or complementary refers only to the measures of their angles, the positions of the angles, or whether the pairs of angles is adjacent to each other is not part of the definition. So let's try and put this all to use now. It says, in this figure, line segment AD is drawn. So, line any line that you have, such as this one here, this line of A to D is a line segment, and all lines equal 180. So AD is going to equal 180 because it's uh, the angle AD is going to add up to 180 because it's a straight line. So what they've given us so far is they've told us that. So what they've told us so far is this angle here is 72. So this angle here is 72. We know that for sure. And then they've also told us, if you remember, that this angle here from B to C to E, they drew this little square here, which means that this one is going to equal 90 degrees. And we know that the whole thing, this whole thing out of 180, so we know that if we do 72 plus 90, and then they want us to find, the, the angle that they actually want us to find here is this last angle, which is angle D to C to E. To find that angle there, we need to know this little angle here. And so we want to know the measure of angle, whoops. We want to know the measure of angle D C E. We know though that all three of these angles are gonna add up to 180, so we can just do it like this. So we have 72 plus 90, which equals 162 when the measure of DCE equals 180. And when you subtract 162 from both sides, 162, the measure of DCE is going to equal, uh, 70 makes eight. So 18 is gonna be the answer. So the measure of DCE is gonna be 18, and that's your answer. And we used uh, supplementary angles to solve it. The next one here, we have a dot here. And it says the, the, the total measure of the adjacent angles around a point is, and we know that it's 360. Because this all th three of these angles come to this point, which means that the angles are going to add up to 360. So you're going to have 133 plus 147, because those are the two other angles, plus some number that we don't know that it's going to be the measure of H, K, I. They're all going to add up to 360. So we just add these together. We have 10, uh, let's see, 8, 280. And that's going to equal 360. And you subtract 280 from both sides. So the measure of H K I is going to equal 80 degrees. And that's your answer. On the next one, remember vertical angles have an equal measure. So two angles that are vertical if their sides form opposite rays, and they want you to find this one, that they want you to find T R to V. And we know that this one's 52, and so the, this is a vertical angle, so this one's also going to be 52 degrees. So the answer is going to be 52 degrees because of vertical angles. Now this last one here, they want you to find the measures of all of these angles. And so on this first one, 145, this is a straight line, so it's going to be 180 minus 145 to find the first one, which is going to come out to be, uh, that's 5, 5, 6, 7 is 3, so this is going to be 35, 
And the reason why is because these two angles, angle A and angle 145, add up to 180. So this one is supplementary because the two angles add up to 180 and it's a straight line. The next one, angle B, uh, you, have, you know this one is 40 and you know this one is B. And we know that this whole thing is a straight line. So since it's a straight line, we know it's going to be 180. So 180 minus 40 is 140. So the answer here is going to be 140. And that is due. Also, same thing. I'm just going to put these little lines here. That also means supplementary. The next one here we want to find is angle C. Angle C is on the opposite side of 40. So this one's also going to be 40. And the reason for that one, of course, is vertical because vertical angles, because this one is the opposite side of the X. So those ones are going to be vertical. Now for letter D, since we already know B, if we know that B is 140, D is on the, is on the opposite side of it. So it's also going to be 140, same reason, vertical. You could also solve it by doing, uh, knowing that C is 40 and that D is supplementary. So you could also use supplementary, but vertical, we don't have to do any math. And then the last problem over here, we have 117 and 146. If we add those two together, we get 163. And we know that this other angle has to be 360 because all of these things come to a point, which means that all three of these angles equals 360. So we just have to subtract it from the other two angles. So it's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9. 197. So this one here is going to be 197 because three angles at a point equal 360. And go ahead and try and do the rest of the problems on your own. See how, see how you do.